At 6 o'clock, the association representing district attorneys across the state says they have a plan in place to challenge the clemency hearing scheduled to begin in October. Yeah, this could involve a lawsuit filed to block the hearings from happening. Chris Nakamoto sat down with the head of the DA's association and explains what they are doing now. Sylvia Michael, the director of the DA's association, says every DA who has a death row inmate that's up for clemency is working to block that hearing from happening. He says court actions will likely be filed in Baton Rouge soon, challenging the eligibility of these rushed hearings. Every district attorney that I have talked to that has a case is preparing to defend against this attack. An attack is how the director of the State District Attorneys Association described an 11th hour announcement by Governor John Bell Edwards. I'm calling on the legislature to end the death penalty in Louisiana. Asking for clemency hearings for 56 people currently sitting on death row. It is crazy to think that a, a process that normally takes a year for in an individual case that we could put 56 of them into the system and get a result within four months and anybody have confidence in those results. Last week, Governor John Bell Edwards announced that he wanted the pardon board to schedule clemency hearings for the inmates sitting on death row. Within 24 hours of that letter going out, 20 death row inmates were scheduled for hearings. Among some of them, Henri Broadway and Todd Wessinger. Broadway was convicted in the killing of Baton Rouge police officer Betty Smothers outside a bank on Jefferson Highway in 1993. Calm down. Is anyone into it? Is anyone into it? Yes, sir. There she is, I believe. I'm in 74-75 Jefferson Highway. You don't know what's wrong with Three years later, in 1995, Broadway and a co-defendant, Kevin Brumfield, were found guilty, both sentenced to death. Smother's son, Warwick Dunn, now former NFL running back, felt justice was served. God has done his work. Some of the jurors want it. Everyone else wanted. it. Broadway up for clemency in November. That's not all. Todd Wessinger, another Baton Rouge resident, is sitting on death row for killing two people at a restaurant on Perkins Road in the 90s. Wessinger is set to have a hearing in November, too. I love my mom. Wessinger was sent to death row for walking into the Calendars restaurant on Perkins, shooting and killing Stephanie Gazzardo and David Breakwall. It is the manner in which the crime occurred, is the intent that was demonstrated by the evidence, uh, makes it uh, clearly a death penalty case. With so many moving parts trying to get hardened criminals off death row, the DA's association says they are working, too, to stop the state's worst offenders from getting clemency. There are DA's around the state and their staffs who have their book open to the same pages, and they are researching every ava available mechanism to, number one, hit the reset button and that, that the board, you know, agrees to follow their own rules. The DA's association says it expects to follow something in the 19th Judicial District Court in Baton Rouge in the coming weeks. Any type of hearing and ruling will likely be appealed on either side. Michael.